Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm not going to read a formal statement. I'm going to tell you a little story. Then I'll hand you over to Ian to say one or two words. Then we'll take questions. Right, three years ago, I was on my way to Dubai on an overnight flight so I could have a little sleep. I sat next to a gentleman who wanted to do nothing but talk about rugby league a sport that I knew nothing about, or at the time I had no interest in getting involved. I looked around the blend to find an alternative seat to sit up so I could have a sleep, but the flight was full. The gentleman I sat next to is called Nigel Wood, who happened to be the chief executive of Rugby League. Came friends, invited him to racing a couple of times. Then he returned the compliment of inviting me to a rugby league match, which happened to be a, the grand final at Old Trafford. Now, went there with my family, and I genuinely, thoroughly enjoyed it. Here's somebody who's never been or never wanted to get interested in the sport, and once I've experienced it first time, I thoroughly enjoyed it to the extent where I rang Nigel a few months later and I said to him, can you invite me again? And he arranged for me to go to my local club or team, the Saints. And again, I really enjoyed the experience. I sat at the time next to the owner of the Saints, Eamon, and we had good time and I thoroughly enjoyed the company of the people involved in the sport to the point where I said to Nigel, if there's ever an opportunity to get involved in buying a club, then I'd, I'd like to know. Marwan, uh, I guess you're a happy man that now the deal's finally gone through and you're the new owner and chairman of Salford City Reds. I'm absolutely delighted you know, to be given the opportunity to own uh, a giant of a club and uh, to be on this journey that is going to uh, end up with winning trophies. In a nutshell, you know, talk us through your plans for this club and where you think they'll be in the in the coming years. Well, to start with, um, we have immediate plans to bring in f new players to gel with the youngsters we have. Uh, Martin Gleeson has come on board. He's agreed to a two-year deal. He'll be with us for two years. Uh, Ryan McGoldrick has come on board. He'll be here for two years. Um, also on loan, we have uh, Jack Murphy from Wigan. Reese Williams from Warrington, he'll be here on a month's loan at this moment in time. Liam Foran from Manly, the other person from, uh, from Manly that we signed is, is a, a prop second row called Vic Morrow. Another one that we brought in on a, on a three month trial is a young halfback called uh, Connor Higgins. Uh, Connor is a British, <coughs> British passport holder and he'll be here from South Sydney. For the future is to put the club in a financial position where it could every year spend its full cap so that we have a sporting chance or the coach have a sporting chance of going out and winning silverware. So the place the plan to go to the full salary cap next season, is, is, that, is that the idea? Uh, yeah, 2014 will be the year when we're uh, hoping to spend the full cap. And I believe you, you're already looking into recruitment plans for them as well. You know, how far can this club go and what calibre of player do you think you can attract here to the, the Salford City State? Well, we, there's no reason why we can't attract the best calibre of players out there. Yeah, and uh, we've already, Graham Lowe and Phil already made a list, a long list of possible players that uh, we could bring in. The players that we want to bring in uh, are those that are going to provide value to the fans, not just by winning exciting players. I want to create an exciting team. I'm over the moon that you know that the security of the club sort of been sorted out now and um, obviously having a new chairman, a new owner that's very ambitious about what he wants to do and where he wants to go is, is you know, I'm over the moon with that because at the end of the day uh, I'm a winner myself so, um, so it can only go, be good for the club and we can only move forward off the back of it. And undoubtedly there has been some you know tough times and tough periods for the club mm. and the players and the staff but um, as that all seems to have lifted now and the focus for once, you know, for the first time in a while seems to be purely on rugby? Well, we've purely been on rugby anyway, but it's sort of the peaks and troughs of, of the off-season have, have all been there and it's been well publicised about 
how tough it's been for the players and the staff. And you know, I'm just glad for the rest of the staff and players that uh, they've got some certainty about where they're going now. And your first impressions of you know Marwan as a as a guy, you know, he just seems a a good bloke who's you know got the club and the sport at heart, I guess. He's a genuine guy. He's very ambitious. And he's a winner. You can't get any better than that. Well, today is the start of the journey. I don't know how long the journey is, but I know where it will finish. It will finish with winning trophies. Oh, and building a side that could maintain its position at the top.